All right, y'all, here's an update on the 420, what's going on. So, the ride has been pretty good. Great on the ride. Did not overheat at all, no leakage. I'm getting ready to change out the diff fluids on both front and rear for the next ride I'm probably gonna be going on. Hopefully soon. Um, a new setup is on the way too. New tires and wheels. Not getting rid of these it's for all the people that keep asking on instagram i'm gonna definitely keep these this will be my, my more mud riding setup this next setup is gonna be more for water riding you'll see why i say that when they arrive um big gun has been uh keeping up really well other than this which i blew off with the pressure washer I need to get a new T-bolt clamp that goes right there because uh, I stripped the other one and broke it off. I just got a hose clamp on right, right now, but if I'm going to be doing some more water riding, I need, definitely need to get that uh, replaced with something more sturdy. Even though I haven't had a problem with that so far, but I'd rather be safe than sorry. Cleaning video will be coming out of how I actually clean this thing and the products I use. And how I can uh, I'm show you how to get all that nasty uh color off the engine block how to make it look brand new again what else what else definitely gonna be doing a snorkel rise or two it's gonna be definitely getting higher up probably double this like i said in my previous videos the warmth and uh great never had a problem with worn if you're looking at winches definitely look at getting a worn definitely recommend that's a three thousand pound synthetic rope but yeah, that's mainly what's going on right now. Oh, I forgot. To, I don't want to forget to mention this. I don't know if I want to mount the light bar up here still. Definitely liking the look without it. Not sure yet. Um, there's one other thing. Oh, also, headlights. I don't know what I want to do yet. I thought about spray painting these like a gloss black or a matte black. For the time being before i go and order new ones which i'm probably gonna get reckless headlights the slim rose but in the meantime i may just paint these just for whatever right now look a little better than what they do um not sure yet I'm gonna check this front diff in here to see how that i haven't changed that one in a while i normally change the back one every two to three rides but this front one i haven't i haven't changed in probably eight or ten rods so definitely gonna be checking that making sure that's good i need to make all this up in here look a little bit better it looks like a mess in here just looks got a bunch of zip ties everywhere i want to get a, i don't know if i want to well i'm probably gonna get a reservoir that goes somewhere right here it sits right there i found a few on amazon but i haven't pulled the trigger yet but this has been working out fine it's just not the prettiest but yeah, let me check that front diff fluid and uh, see how that's how that looks. Alright, so I got the cap off the front diff. And it doesn't look too bad. As you can see, I don't know if y'all can really see that. But it's not too, too bad, but it's milky. So I'm just going to go ahead and change it since I'm already in here. But yeah, wait till y'all see the back one compared to this one. It's night and day difference. As you can see, it's pretty milky. So I'm just gonna let that drain and I'm gonna pour in some new fluid and uh, I'll show you how the back looks. Well, I just uh, took the back uh, diff cover off and uh, I didn't think it was gonna be this bad, but it's just like a sludge. Just black sludge. I don't know if y'all can see that, but it is. Oh yeah, that's not supposed to look like that. So this should be fun. Gotta try to clean all that out. And then put some new diff fluid in. Alright, well, I had to spray a ton of engine degreaser in here. And it's still sludged up in there. So I'm gonna have to run to the store, go get some more. And whatever else products I can find that could probably be helpful. And uh, I just realized I'm out of diff fluid too, so I gotta go run to Honda to go get some more of that. 
So, yeah. Never had this happen before, this much, that kind of thick sludge. I don't know what happened, but I'll get it fixed. It's a Honda, it'll survive. That's what they always say, so we'll see. All right, I just got back from the store, the Honda. Picked up some of their uh, carburetor cleaner. I, I normally use either this or combustion chamber cleaner or engine degreaser. I've already used a whole can of this and a whole can of engine degreaser. And it's still got stuff in there. It's not even sprayed in there. I know I'm going to turn the tire too. Try to get all the teeth in there. It's cleaning it up, but it's taking a while. And as you can see, I don't know if you can see down, the, down there, it's coming out and like paste. But I'm just going to keep doing this and uh, see what happens. All right, y'all. It's the nighttime now. Can't really see nothing, but I got it all back together with a lot of carburetor cleaner. I'm just gonna run a few cycles of this stuff. I bought four of the um, differential bottles, uh, the fluid. And I'm just gonna run a few, run it, and drain it out, do the same thing, probably do about two or three times to make sure to get as much as I can out and then ready for the next ride. But uh, other than that, yeah, I appreciate y'all watching. This was just a short update video of what's going on. And uh, yeah. This next setup is going to look killer. A lot of y'all are going to like it. But at the same time, a lot of y'all aren't going to like it. But we'll see. I got the spacers right here. Two inch spacers for them. Because they're IRS wheels this time. Switching it up. So other than that, thank y'all for watching.